I love playing Arabic sounding music on a guitar. Now let's say in the key of C, the scale you would use for this would be C, then D flat, so it's one flat, two, three, four, E, F, the third and the fourth, in relationship to the C note, right? Then G, A flat, five flat, six, and then it goes back to seven, one. So the structural scale is one, flat two, three, four, five, flat six, seven. So you have three, uh, two half steps in a row, C, B, C, D. So I'm going to play it on one string so uh, it's easy for you to follow what, I, follow what I'm doing. So that's the scale. So a cool thing now that you can do to add more of an Arabic flavor because in Arabic music they have more sounds than we have. Actually they have a su further subdivision of the octave into more than 12 sounds. But you can simulate that if you have a whammy bar. And the way you do this, you rest your hand on it and apply some slight pressure for the in-between what are called the in-between sounds. What do I mean with in-between? So let's say they play C, and then the next note in the scale is D flat, so I could add the in-between note. By pushing on my whammy bar. So now, if I play the scale that we just covered, and then I apply the pressure thing, it kind of pretty closely sounds Arabic. Say you don't have a whammy bar, you could still do this, you just have to make like really fast, jerky, quick bends. Of course, I can't do it here because of the open string. And so on. So, um, yeah, there you go. Now you can play some Arabic music.